The Philippine Army, PA, said the U.S. donated Enhanced Target Acquisition System, EDAS, has given it capabilities similar to those provided by the Anti-Tank Guided Missile, ATGM, system. It has a similar capability as that of the ATGMS to deny possible threats sighted on the ground, said Army spokesperson, Colonel Xerxes Trinidad, in a message when asked whether the Army has existing ATGMs or these are in the procurement pipeline. He added that the EDAS uses two launched optically tracked, wire-guided, tow, missiles to defeat threats on the battlefield. ATGMs are weapons designed to destroy tanks, armored transports, and other armored fighting vehicles. These EDAs are part of a US$18 million United States dollars precision guided munition package given by the U.S. government to the armed forces of the Philippines in late 2020. Some of the weapons handed over include 100 TOW-2A missiles, 12 EDAs, 24 Mark 82 bombs, and associated guidance kits to convert these into smart bombs. Trinidad said the EDAs is already ready for distribution to our field units. Also in the pipeline for the Philippine Army is the so-called Medium Multi-Purpose Assault Weapon, MMAW, he added. What we have in the pipeline for the Army Capability Enhancement Program is the procurement of MMAW, Trinidad said. When asked to describe what type of weapon an MMAW is, Trinidad said it is similar to a recoilless rifle, RR, and can be used to defeat different threats like personnel, vehicles, and bunkers depending on the ammunition used. An RR is a lightweight artillery system or manned portable launcher. Similar to our 90RR or the Carl Gustav weapon, but more advanced that can easily be deployed in the field by the foot soldiers, he added.